The Movement for National Reformation has expressed concern over the destruction of property, loss of lives, and violence resulting from the end bad governance protest across the country. The group made this known during an event to discuss the new constitutional proposal in Abuja, the nation's capital. The group, while condemning the actions that compromised the protest, called on government across the nation to rise up to its responsibility of providing security, jobs, and improving the general welfare of citizens. The rise of citizens to protest is a critical element in the social contract with democratic government, which is not new in our climb. But we in MNR, as major participants in the battle against the dictatorship of military rule in Nigeria, will not allow any section of the population to destroy the basic gains of democracy we have achieved since 1999. When a protest that is supposed to draw government's attention to its poor policies is hijacked by forces hostile to sovereignty and national interests of Nigeria, then MNR, like most patriotic Nigerian organizations, must condemn these forces and align with the federal government led by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. MNR was a major participant in the battle against military dictatorship and it cannot allow any section of the population to destroy the little gains we have achieved since 1999. Those who are converting the platform of the end uh, governance protest to advocate for the dismemberment of Nigeria or calling for a military coup and flying the flags of foreign countries are uh, existential threats to the sovereignty and national interests of Nigeria. Consequently, we in MNR wish to urge President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to thoroughly investigate such unpatriotic acts and bring culprits to justice. We call upon Nigerian citizens, especially those that emerge from the overcoats of MNR, NADECO, and PRONACO, and fought for the restoration of civil democratic governance in Nigeria, not to allow unpatriotic elements to destabilize Nigeria. The strategic alliance between MNR, NADECO, and PRONACO, and other democratic forces played a crucial role in the return to civilian democratic governance in Nigeria. We must not and cannot permit the champions of ethnic chauvinism to extinguish civil democracy, no matter its imperfection. In difference, we urge citizens to embrace dialogue and conversation initiated by the national broadcast of President Tinimbu about the policies of the federal government aim at revamping the economy and restoring social political balance in Nigeria. While we recognize that some of the policies of President Tinubu have not sufficiently addressed the challenges of Nigerians, we strongly condemn the proponents of regime change outside of the ballot box. We are also concerned about the silence of federal government ministers especially the ministers of defense, police, and information in addressing the protesters to complement the president's broadcast. 